They never quite made it big commercially, but in every other respect, the fall led by Marky Smith was simply huge, incredibly prolific, influential, with a massive cult following, the Musos Band. The band was formed by Smith when he was just 19. He was working on Manchester docks, writing songs in his lunch break. Then he saw the Sex Pistols. He would later reflect that he fell into music rather than pursuing it. I didn't want to be in a group, I was, <laughs> uh, I was uh, just writing in my uh, lunch hour and all that work. Marky e. Smith had his own unique style of delivery, often more speaking than singing. But he quickly rose to become an icon, first of the Manchester scene post-punk and then beyond. His band changed lineup numerous times over its 40-year existence, but Smith, their beloved frontman, remained constant. It was like a brilliant, contradictory, awkward, charming uh, character who fronted the fall, one of the most influential bands that came out of the punk and the post-punk period. Famously difficult, with a history of drug and alcohol abuse, Smith remained nonetheless charismatic to his many fans, inspiring many bands that followed. In many ways, if you look at the way that you know the your Liam Gallagher's behave and um, you know Sean Ryder out the Happy Mondays, Marky e. Smith, although a Salford lad, was very much the attitude of Manchester music. Ill health in recent years led to Smith cancelling some shows. He died this morning, his legacy assured as a musical one-off and to so many, quite simply, a legend.